Later on The Tonight Show, Jay escorts European gigolo Rob Schneider, plus the music of Michael Penn and Midnight Confessions. Mm. Right after your local news. A husband, a police officer, a Marine. He will live on forever in our hearts. He chose to wear a uniform in his community and in combat. At 11, new information on a beach police officer killed in Iraq. We can rebuild a carburetor. Put together a five-speaker surround sound stereo. And juggle four girlfriends without ever getting busted. Oh well, can't be good at everything. The grilled pork chop biscuit at Hardee's. Without us, some guys would starve. Concert information. Eisen Wireless, Virginia Beach Amphitheater. First wind and fire in Chicago. Bands warped tour in 50 Cent with Ludacris. Tickets now. This week at Value City Furniture, pick up a low-profile curio cabinet for just $49. We're delivering the savings now during the summer sale. Come on, Joe! What's kicking in the kitchen? Shrimp. And lots of them. 40 shrimp for only $12.99. Gotta go eat that joke. Live from the station on your side, this is Wavy News 10. The uh, community uh, has lost, in my estimation, a hero. A Virginia Beach police officer is killed in the line of duty fighting in Iraq. Plus, new at 11, exclusive details in the fight to save NAS Oceana. Hear what Governor Warner is now ready to do. And they're not just losing gallons, they're losing business. But well, I can't run behind them because I'm on the register. Tonight, police in one Hampton Road city are sending a message to gas thieves. We're watching. Good evening. Tonight's top story, we are learning more tonight about a Virginia Beach police officer killed in Iraq. Bradley Harper was a Marine reservist. He took leave from the Beach Police Department earlier this year when he was called to active duty and deployed to Iraq. Town of your side's Kay Young joins us now from the Virginia Beach Police Department with more. Kay? Well, as Sergeant Brad Bradley Harper's death is being mourned across Hampton Roads. Now, he was an officer here. He and his wife lived in Chesapeake, and he was assigned to the Marine Corps' 4th Amphibious Assault Unit based at Little Creek. U.S. Marine Reservist Sergeant Bradley J. Harper was killed in the line of duty while serving in Iraq. Harper also served Virginia Beach as a member of the police department. A friend and fellow officer and Marine says he was an asset. His friendly attitude, his uh, commitment, his dedication to the city, to his job, to the Corps, uh, that's what he brought. He was the full package. At 25, Brad Harper was leading a full life. The Ohio native was married nearly three years ago. His wife, Kendra, passed along her thoughts through McBrien. In the eyes of those who knew and loved Brad, he's a real hero. He gave 100% in whatever assignment he undertook. He was proud to be a Marine and con considered it an honor serving as an officer for the city of Virginia Beach, 2nd Pre Precinct Oceanfront. He will live on forever in our hearts. The Department of Defense says Harper was killed Wednesday when the amphibious assault vehicle he was in was attacked by an improvised explosive device, or IED. He was with a unit conducting combat operations in Haditha, north of Baghdad. Fourteen Marines died in the roadside bombing. Harper had been in Iraq since March. His death is a tough blow to the Virginia Beach Police Department, where badges are draped in black, where about 60 other officers, including the chief, are reservists and others are not on the beat because they, like Harper, were deployed to Iraq. We're all struggling to, uh, to adjust to this news and, and the loss of Officer Harper. I feel honored that I had the opportunity uh, to, to have trained him in the academy and, uh, and, and to be a fellow brother as a, as a Marine also. Brad Harper and his wife Kendra would have celebrated their third wedding anniversary later this month. His wife sends along a message of thanks to the people in the Marine Corps, the Virginia Beach Police Department, and the people at Maryview Hospital where she works for their support in this difficult time. Bless. Kay Young live for us tonight with Virginia Beach's biggest employer on the line. State and local officials headed up to Washington, D.C. today to lobby the BRAC Commission, asking them to keep NAS Oceana open, going as far as to help build a practice runway right here in Hampton Roads. Exclusive information you'll see first on Wavy News 10. Here's military reporter Patty Culhane, live in D.C. Patty. 
Well, Les, as you know, the Navy's been saying it needs a new practice field away from all the homes and businesses that have been built up around Oceana and Fentress. They wanted to put that in North Carolina, but that's been tied up with lawsuits. So in an effort to save Oceana, the state of Virginia is coming in and offering two new possible sites, one near the Northwest Annex in Chesapeake. We are ready at both the local level and the state level to move very, very aggressively. We've heard this shot across the bow. But how far will they go to keep the 12,000 plus jobs in Virginia Beach? Two possible alternatives. Uh, again, our position, the state's position is we support Washington County until and unless the Navy decides to look elsewhere. Well, can you say what they are? I'd rather not share those two. Wavy News 10 has learned those two locations. The first option, Fort Pickett. The other, near the Navy's Northwest Annex in Chesapeake. The Navy says it needs the field because of building near the base in Hampton Roads that can't fly over land the way they do over water. But is it bad enough to close the base? He compared practice at Oceana and Fentress before landing on a carrier to practicing basketball on a 10-foot hoop and then suddenly reducing the hoop to 8 feet. He said the differences are drastic. I am comfortable that the critical skills our pilots need to safety fly, safely fly and operate from the decks of aircraft carriers are currently supported by Oceana and Fentress. That is, for now, the Chief of Naval Operations warning that if building gets worse, he'll look to build another base. It would cost at least a billion dollars. One commissioner asked, why wait? Two billion dollars for a world-class master jet base on the East Coast in the whole scale of things does not seem to be abnormal. The investment in the future fleet is really critical. And a billion dollars is a lot of money. Now another, not, another option the BRAC Commission is considering, Cecil Field, the base that was closed in Florida. The governor there says it would cost about $250 million to reopen it to the military. The Navy says they couldn't possibly investigate that option in time. The BRAC Commission says it's going to send its staff down there. All right, Patty Culhane live in Washington. Sorry we lost that signal there. So what's the next step in the BRAC process? Well, in three weeks, the BRAC Commission will come up with its final list. After that, the President and Congress will get a chance to approve or reject the list in its entirety. Our partners at the Daily Press will have the latest on the BRAC process in tomorrow's paper. A young girl riding her bike in Norfolk is hit by a car. It happened around 4.30 this afternoon at 10th View and West Ocean View. Police say the 12-year-old rode her bike in front of a car. She was not wearing a helmet and was knocked unconscious. The child is at Centera Norfolk General Hospital tonight in serious condition, but she is expected to recover. Jurors will return in the morning to decide whether a Virginia death row inmate is mentally retarded. If the Yorktown jury decides Daryl Atkins is retarded, he'll spend the rest of his life in prison for robbing and killing a Langley airman in 1996. If not, the 27-year-old will be executed. The jurors deliberated for almost six hours today. Police are still searching for two South Carolina fugitives investigators believe could be here in Hampton Roads. The FBI says Daniel Pilson and Ted Dowdy escaped from a South Carolina jail two weeks ago before their sentencing on bank robbery charges. They were spotted in Washington County, Virginia and Charlotte, North Carolina before they were connected to this car found in Chesapeake. Police say they do not know if Pilson and Dowdy are still in the area. Call the crime line if you have any information. A Hampton man is accused of sexually assaulting a teen at Pembroke Mall. Police say this man, 57-year-old Isa Stephen, approached the 14-year-old autistic boy at the Sweet Tooth Candy Store and forced the teen to fondle him. The victim shouted and Stephen ran away, but mall security guards quickly caught up with him. They got a call. They reacted uh, in a very quick manner. And in addition, they, of course, called the Virginia Beach Police at the same time and uh, apprehended uh, the whole situation just took minutes. Stephen is being held without bond in the Virginia Beach jail. Chief Justice William Rehnquist was briefly hospitalized in Arlington tonight for evaluation after developing a fever. He spent two nights at the same hospital last month for observation and test. Rehnquist is battling thyroid cancer. After last month's hospitalization, Rehnquist said he would continue to work for the court as long as his health permits. A new report finds the premier fighter jet for the Navy and Marines has bad brakes. The F-A-18 Hornet has a thin cable to control the brakes. Investigators found the cable can chafe or break because of chains used to tie down the jet on aircraft carriers. The Navy is now investigating whether the Hornet's brakes need to be redesigned. The U.S. military owns more than 500 F-A-18 Hornets. Still ahead at 11. <laughs> 
A five-year-old in handcuffs forces a police department to change its policies. Plus, our cameras are there as local police crack down on people not paying at the pump. See what we caught on tape. And these guys are the talk of the town. Hampton's turkey troubles next. And today, high temperatures topped out in the low to mid-90s. It was a hot day. Heat indices were near 100 degrees. Tomorrow, we're going to see temperatures near what they were today, but there is some relief in sight. We'll talk about that, and also the tropics are busy. We'll cover that in just a few minutes. Stay with us. Virginia's winning numbers! Hello, everyone. I'm Nikki Spencer with Virginia's winning numbers for Thursday, the 4th of August. It's time to pick three. Tonight's winning numbers, six, three, and nine, six, three, nine. Those cash five numbers are on the side of your screen. Pick four tonight, two, zero. Your next number is eight, and another zero. Two, zero, eight, zero. Good night from all of us at the Virginia Lottery. Come on, Joe! What's kicking in the kitchen? Shrimp, and lots of them. 40 shrimp for only $12.99. Gotta go eat that joke. This week at Value City Furniture, pay just $1.99 for a twin metal bunk bed in your choice of colors. We're delivering the savings now during the summer sale. Celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Princess Anne Park Art and Craft Festival this Saturday and Sunday, August 6th and 7th. Presented by Virginia Beach Parks and Recreation, Silver Diner, Coca-Cola, and Wavy TV 10. Shop from a unique array of original art and fine craft works by artisans from across the country. Enjoy kids' activities, live musical entertainment, and delicious festival food. The 30th Annual Princess Anne Park Art and Craft Festival, August 6th and 7th in Virginia Beach. Hey, Mr. Opportunity here. Remember me? Now, I may not be as good-looking as that Accord LX, but you're really going to like what I have to say. It's Honda clearance time. Now, that means choose a beautiful coupe or sedan of your choice for a deal that'll make your head spin. Look, the final decision is yours. I'm just trying to point you in the right direction. The 2005 Honda clearance. Now you can lease an Accord LX for $199 a month for well-qualified customers at where else? Your Honda dealer. I'm Mr. Opportunity. I'm back. And I'm knocking. Also, with Altel, you get unlimited calls between your wireless and home phone. That's so wonderful. It's just a little unexpected. <laughs> when Altel gives you unlimited calls between your wireless and home phone, what's not to love? <laughs> to eat a saw. Okay, so we can't make you a Winston Cup champion, but we can send you to a race. All you gotta do is make a pit stop at Golden Corral and register to win two tickets to the Subway 500 at Martinsville Speedway on Sunday, October 23rd. See ya in the winner's circle. More choices, better choices. The average price for a new vehicle today is over $27,000. Your Toyota dealer has nine quality choices for a lot less. Own a Toyota Echo, Toyota Corolla, Toyota Camry, or Matrix, Highlander, Prius, RAV4, Solara, Sienna, or other quality built Toyota, all at below today's average vehicle price. Toyota Value, that's moving you forward. Local police are going after gas-guzzling bandits. The cost of gas has skyrocketed so much, it's the hot new commodity for crooks. But in Newport News, police are staking out gas stations and nabbing people for filling up and failing to pay. Ten of your side's Mary Kay Maloney is live now in Newport News with more on the gas drive-off crackdown. Mary Kay? Les, to give you an idea of how bad it's become, one gas station in Newport News recently had 70 gas drive-offs in one, one, one month. So you're talking about almost $3,000. Uh, for, for that company to lose. That's a lot of money. So tonight, Wave News 10's photojournalist Art Kahn rode along with Newport News Police as they chased down those people with the guts to get their gas and just go. 
the chase was on as soon as police spotted someone helping themselves to a tank full of free gas. Confirmation on that vehicle. This man was pulled over and surrounded not far from a gas station. Police say they watched him fill up for free and then flee. We're doing a special operation or sting. We have several detectives in unmarked cars and plain clothes also in the store watching people to see if they're doing gas drive-offs. Those rising gas prices have made gas drive-offs a costly problem for just about every gas station. So they don't drove off with the gas. and you know we Another can, one. Another one. I can't run behind them because I'm on the register. At this Sitgo and Newport News, they say the gas bandits come in all shapes and sizes. Everyone, um, females, males, people who look rich, people who look poor. Vicki Reed remembers one recent gasoline crook. The next thing I know, she's gone with 35 hours for gas. She come back a couple of days later on another pump and get some more gas. So she drives off with $35 worth right, of gas. Right, right. That she basically steals from. Right. Her. And then she comes back to the same place for right, later. Right, on the other side of the pump. For more gas. For more gas. And remember this guy, 30-year-old Jason Patrick Warren of Newport News. Now he's facing a $250 fine, a suspension of his license for up to 30 days, and on top of that, charges of petty larceny, driving on a suspended license, and failure to pay for gas. It would have been a lot cheaper just to pay the 20 bucks for gas at the pump. And less many gas stations right now are considering going to this pay-before-you-pump deal and doing that all of the time, but for the other gas stations, in Newport News, police are going to be doing these uh, crackdowns, these stings at gas stations, different ones on different days, trying to get those people doing those gas drive-offs. Less serious problem for sure, Mary Kay. Thank you. People living in one Hampton neighborhood are getting tired of all the turkeys. Take a look for yourself. Fox Hill residents say the flock of birds comes out every night. No one knows how the flock began, but they do know the birds are breeding, and residents aren't too happy about the trouble they're causing. Lays the feces, the lays the, 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 the disturbance, the scratch cars. You know, you may not get a scratch car tonight, but you may get it next month, and it costs you five hundred or a thousand dollars to fix the car. The turkeys have become such a problem. The city council plans on discussing the topic and possible solutions at next Wednesday's meeting. Always live, always reliable. Here's meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler with your Super Doppler 10 forecast. Good evening. Today was a typical day outside for summertime. High temperatures were in the low to mid 90s. Usually we're in the upper 80s to lower 90s this time of year, so we weren't too uh, out, of, out of whack, I should say. Uh, Super Doppler 10 tower cam right now showing quiet conditions outside at this time. Let's take a look across the country and set things up for you. Last week we had record heat here in Hampton Roads and out in the central U.S. and now there's a cool down out here, a big cool down, uh, and this cool air is going to move towards Hampton Roads over the next couple of days. However, whether or not it actually moves through the area right now is questionable. Temperatures outside at the moment, 81 degrees up there around Melfa, where it's 79 degrees for Norfolk, 82 degrees, still very warm at Williamsburg, 79 Suffolk, and 82 degrees at Edenton. And temperatures should bottom out in the mid-70s overnight tonight. Live, live Super Doppler 10 right now showing quiet skies, and it will continue to do so overnight tonight as we expect clear skies in the overnight hours. The cold front that I'm talking about still out here to the west. We have high pressure in the area, but that cold front creating some showers and thunderstorms out here around central Indiana and Ohio. But we have a big area of high pressure, and that's what brought us the decent weather for today, the sunshine, and the clear skies for tonight. Now, that cold front is going to keep on steadily moving eastward over time. We'll see scattered showers and thunderstorms along that front. You can see, just to the north of Hampton Roads, a good bit of rain will fall, and that's because that front will probably stall out just to our north. Let's take a closer look on future track and we can see nothing out there for tonight and tomorrow is going to be dry as well. Keep going through time and that front does develop. Here it is, the cold front north of Richmond and this will be Friday at noon. We see scattered showers and thunderstorms lining up along that front at 7 p.m. noon till 7 p.m. We go beyond that and that front moves a little bit further east bringing a little cooler weather possibly to the northern eastern shore and also scattered showers and thunderstorms Saturday morning. Here we are at Saturday, uh, well, here we are, Saturday morning, 7 a.m., and then Saturday at noontime. Beyond that, more scattered showers and thunderstorms. So Saturday looks to be the wettest day out of this bunch at the uh, present time. So the forecast tonight for us locally, temperatures will be down in the mid-70s and maybe some fog forming. Tomorrow, high temperatures will be similar to today. 96 degrees for Murfreesboro, 95 Elizabeth City, 
88 degrees, a little cooler there for Nags Head and a lot of sunshine. 90 Virginia Beach, 96 though in Franklin. And out here in the western fringes of the viewing area, temperatures out there could reach possibly close to 100 in some spots. Just a couple of spots. 92 for Denby and then further north, 90 Kilmarnock, 92 Cape Charles. Heat indices could be near 100 degrees. They probably will be near 100 degrees. We're not done yet. The tropics, very busy this year. Probably going to be a record year. Right now we have Tropical Storm Harvey, which has passed Bermuda. And then we also have Tropical Depression Number 9, newly formed. Let's look at Harvey. Harvey moving away from Bermuda and away from land. Not a threat to anybody right now. Uh, the current position, there it is, 32.5 north, 60.1 west, and moving east-northeast. So not a factor in our forecast. Down further south, Tropical Depression Number 9 is moving west at 11 miles per hour. If this keeps on moving west, then it could become a player in our forecast as we head towards Tuesday. So we'll monitor this and bring you the latest. Again, locally, temperatures, lower 90s out there. Heat and seas near 100. Towards the weekend, scattered showers and thunderstorms. The tropics won't bring us a chance for rain, but locally we could see some factors which will bring us some, again, the weekend and Tuesday, Wednesday. Well, it is, after all, August, so we should expect these sort of things, I guess. Right? Yep. It's about normal for this time of year. All right, yeah. thanks. Still ahead, this woman blames a one-digit typo for a theft at her home. That story next. This segment of Wavy News 10 is brought to you by 101.3 2WD. Chevy's proud to be the number one selling passenger car brand in America. And we have the most dependable, longest lasting trucks on the road. We've always broken the rules. Now we're rewriting them with the Chevy employee discount for everyone. You pay what we pay, not a cent more. We're continuing the Chevy employee discount for everyone. Get employee pricing on almost every 05 Chevy vehicle. The Chevy employee discount for everyone ends September 6th. For a good, good this isn't just an ordinary school, it's for certain people who need help. Our children here at Pappas are homeless. Some of them sleep in their cars, some are in shelters. And um, I guess I needed to have some help. Target is part of the Pappas family because they continually give to these children. They know they're going to be loved, fed, clothed, the works. This school means to these children a future. They gave me a shot at life and I really appreciate it. <laughs> no, it, it totally freaked me out. Everything went really, really fast. I, I thought I was going to lose it. It was ice cold. And I still feel like he's watching me. Oh, yeah. The wolves. Wolves? Curse of Dark Castle. The only ride of its kind. The curse is real. Concert information from the Verizon Wireless Virginia Beach Amphitheater. Earth, Wind and Fire in Chicago. Vans Warped Tour and 50 Cent with Ludacris. Get your tickets now. No matter what the weather, Super Dapper 10 Live Radar is always on your side. This segment of Wavy News 10 is brought to you by Hyundai. It's Hyundai Summer Clearance, so save the dates to save big. Like up to $4,000 cash back on select models. Days are flying by to save on models across the lot, like the V6 Hyundai Santa Fe. And don't forget, Hyundai's award-winning quality lets us offer America's best warranty. So circle the dates for up to $4,000 cash back. Don't miss this once-a-year opportunity at Hyundai. For a short time, active military personnel get an extra $500 cash back. Topping news across the nation, the shuttle Discovery crew can put away their spacewalking shoes. NASA had been considering sending astronauts outside again to cut away part of a torn thermal blanket so it wouldn't come off during re-entry. But officials now say that won't be necessary. The shuttle is scheduled to return to Earth on Monday morning. The St. Petersburg, Florida Police Department is changing its policies on handcuffing children after officers handcuffed an unruly kindergartner. Yeah. 
The officers were not punished for restraining the five-year-old girl back in March. She had torn up a classroom and hit an assistant principal before police arrived. The police chief says the officers did not violate policy. I don't think they had a bad heart in this. I think they made some decisions that, that weren't the best, that hopefully through the training and policy changes, those decisions won't be made again. New rules will require a supervisor's okay before officers handcuff children in the future. A Lawrence, Kansas woman says a newspaper typo led thieves to her home and now she wants the paper to pay. The woman came home from work to find people loading items from her apartment into a truck. When she asked what they were doing, the people showed her this ad. The paper printed a notice that everything would be removed from the woman's address, but it was a misprint. The address was one digit off from another woman who had recently died. Because of that typo, the woman's TV, DVD player, furniture, even a seven-week-old kitten were taken. Coming up in sports, a couple of old Tidewater Tides trade places in the major leagues. Bruce Rader explains, and we'll head to Redskins training camp where Virginia Beach's Brandon Noble looks to get back on the field. Carpet is a simple business. The more you sell, the lower you can take the price. Saturday, Hands will do a million dollars of business. That means we can reduce our carpet prices where no other store is ever gone. The price reductions you receive this Saturday on carpet, rugs, and hardwood, we could never afford in the normal course of business. But when we do a million dollars in a day, we can work wonders with our prices. Padding and installation are free, and you'll pay nothing for a year. On the breakthrough day for carpet prices, the day we do a million dollars, Saturday at Hands. No, it, it totally freaked me out. Everything went really, really fast. I thought I was going to lose it. It was ice cold. And I still feel like he's watching me. Oh, yeah. The wolves. Wolves. Curse of Dark Castle. The only ride of its kind. The curse is real. I like fair and flexible for families. There's no huge overages or any long distance charges, so I can call my whole family. Marie, Jimmy, Tito. Donnie, you don't have a Tito. No Tito? No Tito. <laughs> Right now, Families Page is $35 a month for the first two months for two lines with 800 shared anytime minutes. And they can add up to three lines free for the first two months. Sprint PCS. Now that's better. All right. <laughs> we are so high. Where's everybody going? It's Funnel Cake Carnival down at IHOP. <laughs> Everyone's heading to IHOP for new Funnel Cake Carnival. Hot, crispy funnel cake smothered in fruit crowned with creamy topping and served with all your favorites. Step right up before this carnival leaves town. IHOP. Come hungry, be bad. Hello? More choices, better choices. The average price of a new vehicle today is over $27,000. For a lot less, you can own America's number one selling car, Toyota Camry. Renowned for quality and value, Camry starts under 19.6. Standard with air conditioning, power windows, power locks, AM, FM, CD sound, anti-lock brakes, a five-year, 60,000-mile powertrain limited warranty, and more. Like 24 City, 34 Highway. So why settle for average when for a lot less you can drive a Toyota Camry? Toyota Value, that's moving you forward. This segment of Wavy News 10 is brought to you by Beach Eye Care. This is great. No more cataracts and I'm driving again. I'm back. Doctors Neetrauer and Jane of Beach Eye Care know that you're more than just someone who has cataracts. Beach Surgery Center for Eyes is the first facility of its kind in our area dedicated exclusively to eye surgery. The Beach Eye Care surgeons are now able to help more people than ever recover their zest for life. Call Beach Eye Care at 425-5550 because experience matters. This has not been a good week for the <laughs> Orioles or their fans. That's an understatement. Yeah. You know, I'll tell you what, though. Up until today, if you could find anything nice to say about Orioles owner Peter Angelos, it was that he never fired people. So that gives you an idea of how he obviously feels about his manager. Make that former manager, Lee Mazzilli. Mazzilli, a former Tidewater Tide, was the toast of the town at the start of the season in Baltimore when the Orioles got hot and challenged both the Red Sox and the Yankees. But now, following a recent skid of 13 losses in 14 games, Angelos today fired his manager, Lee Mazzilli, 
and replaced him with a former manager of the Norfolk Tide, Sam Perlazzo. The O's in California tonight taking on the Angels. Baltimore's Eric Burns got things started for the Birds in the third. Orlando Cabrera loses the ball in the sun. 2 nothing. Orioles take the lead. And then Sammy Sosa comes up. Boom! He adds a home run. The O's win in San Perlazzo's first game as new manager in Baltimore. And when I come back, it's going to be back to Redskins Park, where we're going to visit with Virginia Beach star Brandon Noble. Don't go away. Watch it, now. The 10th anniversary concert season at the Verizon Wireless Virginia Beach Amphitheater welcomes. Crazy, August 25th at Verizon Wireless Virginia Beach Amphitheater. With special guest Papa Roach. Plus Unwritten Law, 311 Live. Tickets are on sale now. Presented by Cellar Door and Miller Lite. Part of the 10th anniversary concert season at the Verizon Wireless Virginia Beach Amphitheater. This is the leather sofa a typical American family could get from a fancy schmancy furniture store. Everybody comfy? Now, for the same price, here's the leather group this family can get at Room Store. Leather sofa, leather group. Leather sofa, leather group. Hmm, tough call. We put it all together, save you more at Room Store. Chevy's proud to be the number one selling passenger car brand in America. And we have the most dependable, longest-lasting trucks on the road. We've always broken the rules. Now we're rewriting them with the Chevy Employee Discount for Everyone. You pay what we pay, not a cent more. We're continuing the Chevy Employee Discount for Everyone. Get employee pricing on almost every 05 Chevy vehicle. The Chevy Employee Discount for Everyone ends September 6th. At most restaurants, shrimp comes with a lemon wedge. At Ruby Tuesday, it comes with a half pound of beef. The new Surf and Turf Burger, one of 30 famous burgers. Only at Ruby Tuesday. So good, it's guaranteed. At Ruby Tuesday, we've got a burger that comes from the sea, but tastes like it came from heaven. The Jimmy Jack's Crab Cake Burger, one of 30 famous burgers. Only at Ruby Tuesday. So good, it's guaranteed. That's why my insurance company dropped me. It's okay. You don't need a spotless record to come to Nationwide. We have affordable coverage for all kinds of drivers. Nationwide is side. We return to Redskins Park tonight to check in with Brandon Noble from Virginia Beach. Brandon had an outstanding season last year, but an off-season operation has slowed him down a bit. He visits with Wavy's Chris Francis. Okay, Bruce, a couple of days into practice here, and uh, the Redskins are ready and willing. Uh, one local guy we found running around, or hoping to run around, yeah. Brandon Noble. Yeah, you feeling better, getting that knee into shape? I yeah, I'm, I'm getting better. I'm just getting back into shape now. Uh, you know, the, the, the first surgery that I had cleaned it out, took care of everything. Uh, unfortunately, I had to have the staph infection and a second surgery to get that out of me, but that's been out of me for a while now. I'm off my medication and, and kind of in the process of, uh, of getting better and getting back into shape. The, uh, your teammates gave you a, a great award last year after uh, coming back from that injury. It was mm -hmm. a Courage Award. Uh, right. Tell me a little bit about that. I was, you know, the Ed Block Courage Award. It's, it's really a, uh, you know, something. That it's, it's one of those awards that you never want to win until you get hurt, and then you want to win it. Uh, and, and that, you know, they gave it to me. It was a great honor. Uh, you know, coming back from something like I, I, uh, I did was was tough, and, and it, you could, can't do it without your teammates, and, and to have that reciprocated and, and send me to Baltimore to, to, to get that award was great. A lot of optimism around this uh, camp. Uh, a lot of people saying Joe Gibbs second year. This is when it's all going to come together. Yeah, I mean, it, it's uh, he's had a year on his belt now, you know, and I, and I think we at the same time we we understand what he wants. He, team, the better you're going to be. One more question. Fans back home really want to know what your time tip is. Do you have a time tip or do you just you're trying to get better? I'm just trying to get back in shape right now. Come on. <laughs> um, got hot today. Uh, you know, I, I'm really, you know, having been through this before, uh, I understand that you, you have to listen to the training staff. You have to kind of follow their guidelines and do what they say and you don't want to rush yourself back. Uh, so right now, you know, I don't know. They're just 
I'm running, I'm getting back into shape. Once I feel like I can start going, I, I think they'll let me go because the knee is, uh, you know, structurally sound. Appreciate you taking time to join us. Thanks no so much, Brandon. Hey, we remember him wrecking the uh, Virginia Beach district there. So, Brandon Noble, hope to get back on the field with the Redskins. Bruce, back to you. Thanks, Chris. Tomorrow night we're going to visit with another local guy trying to make the team, Jamin Elliott, who played at Churchland High School in Portsmouth. The uh, Tides, by the way, I wanted to let you know, are uh, losing to Indianapolis 8-1. to one. That game is in the eighth inning. All righty. Another hot one, Jeremy. Yeah, tomorrow, temperatures, low to mid-90s. Going to see heating in the season around 100 degrees. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again tomorrow. Good night. You're watching.